Welcome back to the show. Ken Trahan with you on this Wednesday evening on All Access and, of course, the Allstate Sugar Bowl Great New Orleans Sports Hall of Fame has its annual awards coming up on July 30th. It's a blessing to be part of that committee, of course, for many years now, and to nominate the best of the best throughout Louisiana and, of course, the New Orleans region for induction every year. And this year, the class is terrific. It includes a whole bunch of really prominent people. Joining us now to talk about that particular Honor is one of the people that's being honored, and she was just absolutely brilliant in her career. If you had a chance to just remember not too long ago on the softball diamond when Ashley Brignac was getting it done in tremendous fashion, first of all at John Curtis Christian School, then at the University of Louisiana, and for her exploits, uh, which were just terrific, she is being inducted into the Greater New Orleans Sports Hall of Fame. Ashley joins us now, and Ashley, first and foremost, welcome and congratulations on a well-deserved honor. Thank you so much. I am so humbled and honored by this. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just so thankful. Well, I just talk about the whole genesis of this. What got you interested in the sport to begin with? When did you start playing? I started playing when I was um, about six or seven. I remember going to a park and seeing people play. And so I went home and I took up uh, some socks, rolled them in a ball. And my goal was to hit where the roof and the wall met at the top. And so... Um, started there and then we just it just kind of took off from there started playing um coaches pitch played shortstop played third base and then um my dad told him i was interested in pitching so we found a pitching coach out in denham um springs which george metters his daughter played at lsu for a little bit and um he kind of got me started and when we realized it was serious you know we kind of took it pretty serious and the funniest part is it's like i when I made my first team, I found out years later that I made it by default just because I didn't have enough girls. <laughs> 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 that I wasn't actually that good. I was playing in right field, and I remember distinctly strike or no, I didn't strike. Well, I struck out, but I didn't swing. The ball actually hit the ground, and the umpire called it a strike, and I was distraught. I went to right field crying. Um, and then slowly, you know, I started catching some balls, and then they put me at third, and it just kind of took off from there. And um, when I started pitching, I had a lot of naysayers. I could never pitch. I'm not any good. I mean, I was really short and tiny. Um, but, you know, we just kept working and working hard. And um, slowly things kind of came along. And then my growth spurt happened when I was in junior high and high school. And it just kind of took off from there. John Curtis Christian, obviously that's where you first became well known uh, for what you were accomplished on the softball Diamond, and, and of course, this was a tremendous experience for you. It goes without saying, and not only a tremendous experience, but a lot of uh, great memories and a lot of championship numbers that took place there. Christy Abear is a good friend of mine, and uh, she's, uh, of course, a wonderful person and a great coach, too. And National Gatorade Player of the Year in 2007, uh, senior year 25 and 0, 421 strikeouts, 14 hits, 160 innings pitched, 21 no hitters, seven perfect games. You look back at that; it's kind of dizzying, isn't it? It's it's crazy because I, I was I was telling some people uh, not too long ago. It's like my sister played at John Curtis. So I was able to come back and watch her, and you know their mound moved back a little bit. But I started gaining perspective then. During it, it was just like you know I just played. I was a competitor, and honestly, I would get mad when someone would foul tip a ball, um, just because it's like. I knew that, you know, I was doing something pretty cool, but I just didn't understand how big things were and how monumental, you know, some of the things I did. And honestly, I didn't even know a lot of my stats. I didn't know nothing until recently. Some of the awards, people would call me and ask me, and I had to go look it up, me and my mom would go find out. And then I'm like, wow, that actually is kind of crazy, <laughs> um, to be honest. And so it's just been more recently that I've been able to look back at that and really – take in what kind of happened what we did as a team what um happened on the mound like kind of all the adversity even going after high school um i've been able to appreciate it a lot more kind of i guess in my older age now <laughs> ashley brignac with us talking about the upcoming induction into the Grand new Orleans sports hall of fame sponsored by the all-state sugar bowl and of course on to what is now the university of louisiana we always specify located in Lafayette. They want to be known as the <laughs> University of Louisiana. But when you look back at that, first of all, that's a terrific program. And that program is is right there with LSU in this state. And 
getting to the NCAA tournament on a consistent basis. Talk about your decision to go there and, and what about your experience there? Yeah, so it's, I took all my official visits, you know, when it kind of was kind of um, not the popular thing to do, you know, people were committing way ahead of time, but I wanted to take my time and do all my official visits. And when I was making them, I made UL last on purpose. Um, I had a good relationship with Coach Bike and Coach Steph, and I wanted to kind of keep that last. Um, and I went to Tennessee right, kind of right before them, and I was dead set on going to Tennessee. Um, and that was my decision. And I remember being so upset about it. I, I told my parents, I'm like, how can I tell Coach Bike and Coach Steph, no, like, they're, they're like family. Like, that's I, – I don't see not playing for them – um, but Tennessee was just, it was the place. And then I go to my official visit at UL and I get there and I look at my parents. I'm like, this is home. This is where I belong. It just felt right. Um, and so the, what was really cool is the day I committed, I actually, we drove out there, it was rainy. And so they were in bourgeois hall practicing and I surprised them um, at their practice and was able to kind of tell them, you know, and if you know anything about coach Mike and coach Steph, so to tell you that, um, they canceled practice after that would tell you anything because, you know, practices never got canceled. Um, and so that was a really cool experience, but it was just home for me. I wanted to play for my state. Um, that was the program I wanted to play for. Um, I didn't, you know, in the end of it, I didn't want to go to, I never understood as a young girl, why girls from other states would go play for another program across the country. Like it just didn't hit my brain. I guess just I'm from Louisiana. It's just my school. We have good programs here. I wanted to be the one to take our state program and beat those schools. Um, and so that was kind of a little bit of motivation. And then getting there, I mean, our freshman year, I mean, was amazing. Our team was phenomenal. Um, it was a really cool experience, but um, I wouldn't change it for the world. And, of course, in that freshman season, you hit the scene, and all you did was uh, earn some Bell Pitcher of the Year honors and 13 shutouts, three no-hitters, a perfect game. Uh, this was really, it seems like, coming easy to you, but then you would face adversity after your sophomore year, correct? Yes, yeah. Um, sophomore year, um, it was actually after my freshman year, or should I say during my freshman year, mm -hmm. that I actually got injured. Yep. Um, a lot of people don't know that. A lot of people think I got injured over the summer. We just kept, kept it really hush-hush. Um, I had to take a steroid pack of medication um, during the conference tournament my freshman year. Um, my mechanics were very off in the World Series because my shoulder was actually hurt and injured uh, during that time. Um, and so we tried to rehab, do some things. I didn't pitch a whole lot over that summer. And the sophomore year, I was trying to play. And um, it got to a point in the season I went to coach Steph, like, I can't pitch. Um, and so that was very disheartening, um, especially coming off of freshman year. And I, I was trying to play and trying to pitch through it. But the only thing that bothered me was pitching. It was the one thing I needed to do. And come to find out, um, ended up having a torn labrum, um, had to get anchors in my shoulder, got it by Dr. James Andrews out in Alabama, and um, spent my following year rehabbing. The hardest part was actually coming back. Um, that shoulder surgery, he tightened me up very well, um, was very painful. And honestly, I didn't pitch too many games after that pain-free anyways. Um, but I was a new pitcher. My speed was different. I could hit the speeds that I did. I couldn't maintain them anymore. Um, my pitches were different. So I had to learn mentally how to approach the mound differently, how to approach these batters differently. And honestly, I left my career thinking that I didn't end too well. Um, I was kind of a little heartbroken through that. And it took, I mean, again, many years to sit back and look back at what I was able to do and accomplish and be satisfied with it, be actually okay with that and uh, be proud of what I've done. And I knew I did things at a high level. And the fact that I was still able to come back and do pretty well and also keep my academics the way they were, um, you know, I, I'm very proud of that. I take a lot of pride in that. Ashley, bring that with us for a few more minutes. And, of course, the irony is about what you do today. Talk about that a little bit, right? Yeah, so I'm actually a chiropractor on my own clinic here in New Orleans. And what's really cool is we're actually moving into um, specializing in shoulders, specifically any of the throwing athletes with an emphasis on softball pitching. And so I have taken an interest back into the softball world of 
coming back and helping these young athletes with their mechanics, but also with their shoulder health, um, how it should move properly, how to pitch with power without sacrificing your shoulder. Um, I understand all avenues of it because when I had a shoulder injury, um and being able to also do the care not just give them the results or give them this like i can actually then perform the care of them and i understand it because i've been there and done that um so that's actually something that's new coming up that i'm very excited about because it's a passion of mine and getting to help these young girls know that um they can get care and do performing well but i will never sacrifice the health of their body or shoulder to accomplish something and so being able to use my experiences and um expertise in that area to help is um it's kind of like my passion and my calling i'm really excited about that that's amazing to be able to give back in that regard because of the experiences that you've had and then actually in terms of this honor itself being recognized as one of the best of the best in the history of sports not just your sport but every sport male female in the greater New Orleans area and the All-State Sugar Bowl, of course, being behind this. Just talk about what it means to you personally. It's kind of um, makes me speechless a little bit, to um, be honest. Um, but honestly, I go straight to the people that have helped me. I mean, my parents, my dad, uh, my mom, siblings, um, the coaches I had, Coach Jesse of Buda, Coach Chrissy at Curtis, you know, the Lotifs. Um, the people who supported me, honestly, our teammates, I mean, our catchers in high school, right? Gabby at first and like all these people that are surrounding it. Um, honestly, that wouldn't have been possible because softball is not an individual sport. It's a team sport. Um, and I'm very honored to know that not only am I getting inducted into the New Orleans Hall of Fame, it's like softball is getting inducted into the hall of fame you know like that's very um exciting and honorable and i'm just excited to represent women and the community and softball at a high level um yeah it's i'm i'm speechless and i'm very honored to be able to stand next to some of the greats in the area um that's yeah it's very humbling and last but not least to see where the john curtis and the UL softball programs are today. I know that makes you very happy, doesn't it? Oh my gosh, it makes me so happy. And to see that they're getting national recognition, especially the UL and seeing what they've been able to do. And then Curtis, you know, they're creating a dynasty there. My sister went there, um, but it's definitely family. I mean, my kids are at Curtis now, actually. They're in the uh, early childhood center. And, um, you know, I met my husband in Lafayette at UL. And so it's this whole family ordeal where I go to Lafayette a lot. I live here close to Curtis now. Um, and to see them where they've gone and know that, you know, I was there and I was part of the history um, is, is pretty special. Ashley Brignac, All-State Shooter Bowl, Greater New Orleans Sports Hall of Fame electee, will be inducted on July 30th at uh, dinner in Caesar Superdome. Looking forward to the ceremony. Ashley, once again, congratulations on the honor and look forward to that night on the 30th and, and uh, just continue to do the great work you're doing as well with the chiropractic work and with children here. Thank you so much.